Hey folks, want to make a quick video of some issues I'm having with my brand new SRAM Rival Axis ETAP front derailleur. Um, I was on a 20 mile ride yesterday and this thing uh, overshifted the front and dumped the chain to the crank side about four times in that ride. Not happy about it. That's really not fun. Super disruptive to the ride. Uh, I'm kind of surprised that this is an issue. Yeah, I've gone through the setup you know, video. I've found that I can get it more closely without the alignment block, doing it manually. Um, so everything here is set to a T. Um, and I've been wrenching on bikes for 30 years now, so I'm uh, pretty experienced with how to set these things up. Notice the rear derailleur is on the uh, largest cog or the lowest gear in the back. And notice the alignment here in the front. So there's the alignment mark that SRAM talks about. Let's see if I can get a better focus. So there's the alignment mark on the derailleur cage. You know, there's the teeth, the tooth. <laughs> Uh, I would call that perfect. So watch what happens. You know, we shift down, we get to a stop sign. All right, fine. It's time to go again or stoplight. Let's shift back up in the big ring and hammer. Wait, what was that? Uh, let's watch that again. Did you all see that overshift? So on the lowest gear, try to go up to the large chain ring. It overshifts by, you know, two, three millimeters uh, for like, two seconds just long enough to dump the chain when you're riding and apparently this is only an issue when the rear derailleur is in the largest cock so i'm not sure what sram has going on we know the derailleurs talk to each other right and can make some you know gear shift behavior decisions based on what gear you're in so let's shift up into the um the highest gear the smallest cog in the rear and now let's watch our Shifting behavior once again. Again, we're right on the alignment. Now we're in the low gear. Now let's get going again. We're in the high gear. You see it's absolutely perfect, right? So there's no overshifting. It's just exactly to where it's supposed to be. Now again, let's get into the low gear. Because we've got a hill or something. We're just cresting the hill, right? Hey, let's put some power down. Now, granted, you know, not typically supposed to, to cross chain, but this is even an issue. And let's go a few gears up, which is usually about where I'm shifting in the large chain ring from there. So let's go back to our large chain ring. Let's get this alignment, which is perfect. Uh, let's shift in the lower. Let's shift in the big chain ring. So I, what I don't understand is why overshift for two to three seconds while you're dumping my chain. Like, I'm not sure if that's a feature or a bug. I'd call that a bug. Uh, I'm not sure why that's shifting outboard farther than I've set the delimiter screw. Uh, I just don't understand. So again, shift up. And it comes back to where it's supposed to be based on the high delimiter screw setting. Don't know what's going on. I would hope that this is some kind of a firmware. I'm on the absolute latest version of firmware. Uh, no issues there, but uh, need an update from SRAM. Thanks.